We're going to do a quick start on the YSI Pro ODO handheld uh, dissolved oxygen meter. We're going to walk you through um, the steps that we need to do to be able to get it uh, out of the box and ready to go. We're going to install the batteries. We're going to remove the red storage cap, dampen the sponge, connect the probe, and we're going to turn on and calibrate. The batteries installed. We're going to put the rear cover down and uh, tighten the four screws. Next step is just to unscrew the probe guard, and then we're going to uh, turn counterclockwise and just pull off uh, the red storage cap. Next step is uh, we put the uh, yellow sponge in the bottom of the calibration sleeve and. Uh, added water and just dumped out the excess water so the uh, sponge will stay damp and then we're going to put the sheath on and uh, connecting the cable, it's a military cable, just line it up um, and simply twist it clockwise. Then with the instrument turned on with the, uh, the green power button right here, just want to walk you through some of the menu system here. If you look at the first uh, soft button on your left that's system and when we press system some of the things that might be important to you would be uh, setting the auto shut off you can scroll down with your down arrow and then hit the enter button and you can adjust that um, to however long you want the meter to stay on and uh, we're going to back out of here and then this will also tell you as far as what software version uh, the meter is in and then the next soft key we have here is the probe and some of the things that you can do here in the probe we're going to go down to display and you can display for example how you want dissolved oxygen uh, to be listed on the screen percent milligrams per liter parts per per million and we're going to back arrow at this point and back arrow again and uh, okay, well, let's hit escape and then we can go to Cal and one of the things that you're going to want to do um, occasionally is calibrate the meter and we're going to hit right when we're at this uh, calibrate DO we're going to hit enter and then we're going to calibrate DO percent and it's asking to accept calibration so I'm going to hit the enter button again and right now it's as you can see calibration successful so um, this meter is ready to go the other thing that I wanted to show out is the file system you can create um, your own site list for example if you have different sites tank one tank two or let's say you sample outside bridge one bridge two so you can uh, create that here one of the easier ways to do it probably would be through the data manager software and we'll have a separate video on how to use that the data manager which is especially important if you want to be able to actually um, look at the data that you have um, you have entered and I'm going to show you how to log because when you're at the the read screen it's live and up on top here it always says log one sample so anytime you're at that place you want to hit enter and um, you're going to be able to uh, log and right now we don't have any site or folder information but we're just going to hit enter and that just saved uh, saved um, all this data and uh, one of the other things that I wanted to show you is in the uh, probe mode and we're going to hit uh, DO and we're going to hit um, the enter key and uh, as example here we're going to go down to sensor cap right here and then hit the enter button and this is where your your coefficients are saved. You scroll down to sensor cap coefficients and this is where when you need to put on a new cap you're going to go down here 
to update coefficients and these instructions will be in um, uh, the manual that you get when you order um, a new cap. So uh, that uh, completes um, our video on how to use the Pro ODO. If you need any more information, you can just go to Certified 911 and we'll have more information for you as well.